How's it going today, my friends? Today we're going to be talking about what's new about Simrad's latest and greatest open array radar release, which is this Halo 2000 and 3000 series radars. It's an absolutely amazing new radar. Just got released at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show in 2022, so it's really new. It's really up to date and quite possibly even the best radar available to you guys on the marine market as well. So with that being said, let's start this video. So as we start this video, I just want to let you guys know. For your convenience, I have linked down below in the description an authorized Simrad dealer. That way you guys can make sure you guys are getting warranty and any eligible rebates that might be available at the time of your purchase. That way you guys are able to get that because you're buying it from an authorized Simrad dealer and if there's ever any issues, they'd be happy to help Sim to contact Simrad on your behalf to work for you um, should you have any issues with the radar. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start talking about what's new about this radar. What's new about this radar is a couple things. One is the new zone track. I absolutely love this new zone track feature. It's great, especially if you're running offshore, making any long runs or anything like that, because you can designate a zone on your radar where it'll track up to 50 targets, which is way more than you're probably ever gonna need. Um, it'll track up to 50 targets in a designated zone on your radar, and it'll even tell you the heading of which way these targets are moving. That way you can see if it's moving towards you, away from you, is it gonna cut diagonal through your path or whatever. So you can designate the zone, monitor those targets, and see which way they're going. So it's an absolute game changer, and it's really great for safety. It's a great new safety feature on these new Halo radars. So what else is great about these new radars is the dual range. So Garmin, when they released their Phantom X series last year, their dual range was something that they really liked, and it basically it allows you to have two ranges set at once. So you can have like one set to like 12 miles and one set to two miles. So that way you're gonna be able to see the two ranges at the same time. So if you wanna have one screen set up to two nautical miles, you can see two nautical miles better than you would be able to see on 12 nautical miles. So if you wanna have one set, let's say you're going in a, like you're going through a little area or something and you know, you got lots of boats near you. So you wanna have that one set for any boats or buoys that might be next to you, so you you go ahead and go with a smaller range, and then you have the other one because you want to see which way the front is moving, or if there's any weather out there that you want to make sure you don't go into, or anything like that out there. You can have the larger range set up that way you guys can see that and then that, and you can just glance at the two screens and see the two different ranges, and you'll be able to get two different ideas: one idea what's close to you, and one idea what's far from you, which is absolutely great. So. That's another thing I really like about it, which Samurai added to this new radar. Um, another thing is, is that this new radar, you can just unplug it, like your previous Halo radar, just unplug it and plug this one right back into the same wires, connectors, and everything, and it'll work just beautifully. If your Halo radar was working with the same screens you have on your boat, this new one will as well. You don't have to upgrade your screens to be able to get the full potential out of this radar. Um, in the future, they might put out updates to where if you don't have the latest and greatest screens, um, the latest release screens, you might not be able to get some new features that might come out with this radar. Um, but if you already have the best units that you don't have to worry about upgrading anything else, or if you just want to upgrade to the radar in the meantime, because that'll probably be a while from now, you'll be able to, to have your ra new radar work just perfectly with the screens, and you don't have to worry about upgrading any other marine electronics in the process as well. So. What else is great about this is they increase the wattage on this, so you can be able to have a better picture, more clear, and have better target separation. When I talked to the Navico reps in Fort Lauderdale at the boat show about this radar, they told me their previous Halo radar was a great radar, the open array, really good, you know, industry leading, but when it came to close range, their closed dome radars would beat them all the time, just like that. Every time their closed dome radar beat the open array radar. Um, in a close area because open array is for farther away. So what do they do to counter that? They increase the water. So now with the open array radar, it's gonna be the equivalent, if not better, to the Simrad Halo closed dome radars for close range targets and picking them up and target separation and all that. So basically you're gonna be able to see targets better at a close range and a farther range at the same time. 
and it's gonna be better than the closed dome radar. I know in the past I put out a video talking about the Halo open array versus the closed dome, and I mentioned the closed dome was way better for close range. Now this new radar will be the equivalent or better to the Halo closed dome radar because of the increased wattage. The 2000 series has 50 watts of power output, and the 3000 series has 130 watts of power output. Now you'll see exactly why some other new features with the 3000 are available because of that new increased wattage output. So 50 watts of power output from the 2000 is an increase from before, and then 130 watts for the 3000 is a big increase from before as well. So what's different about these? The 2000 is available in three, four, and six foot arrays. That's great, um, depending on what size array you need. So it's got all the size open arrays, and the 3000 is available in four and six foot arrays only. Um, so there's another difference right there between the two. Another difference is bird plus mode. So this enables you to see birds up to eight nautical miles away, and it it's an absolute game changer because before you could see birds two, three, maybe four miles on an open array radar if you had it really dialed in, um, and that was it. But now, you, if you have it dialed in, you know, obviously it depends on the clarity of the day as well, and other factors like that. You can see birds up to eight miles away with bird plus mode on the 3000 series radars only, and that's also the reason they're able to do that is with that increased power wattage. So that you're, they're able to pick up the birds better farther away. So up to eight miles away is insane. Um, that's an absolute game changer, especially if you're looking for birds when you're looking for fish, tuna, mahi, sailfish, whatever it might be. That's great that you're able to pick up birds up to eight miles away. That's really incredible. And that's one other benefit of the 3000 series radar over the 2000 series radar. So that's one feature that the 2000 doesn't have that the 3000 does have. Um, obviously having 130 watts of power, all the target separation and pictures and clarity is going to be better on the 3000 series radar. That's not to say there's anything wrong with the 2000 series radar, it's an absolute stellar stud radar, but the 3000 is going to be better than it because it's the next series up because of the higher water, higher wattage output. So with that being said, thanks for watching today's video guys. Be sure and subscribe and smash the like button on this video. That way. It helps get out to more people and you don't miss a future video as well not many of you guys that are watching are currently subscribed so be sure to subscribe that way you don't miss a future video we talk about all kinds of things on here so be sure to subscribe hit notification bell that way give you notification when your video is put out and you'll be able to watch it then and there so with that being said signing off and until next time